What's up, guys? So what's on my mind today? Black women. And what I want to say about Black women, it may be a little controversial for most people, but for me, it's, it's clear as day. If you see a Black woman in a role of leadership, she didn't get that job because of affirmative action. She didn't get that job because of her looks. She didn't get that job because of nepotism. She simply got that job because she earned it, period. I can understand why people would think otherwise when they walk into a room and they see a black woman leading the room. But I think the way they feel is a reflection of what they feel about themselves. When they start saying she got the job because of affirmative action, they're wrong. When they're saying she got the job because of the way she looks, they're wrong. When they say that she got the job because of nepotism, they are wrong. She simply got the job because she was the best person for the job. D.L. Hughley, he said it on this show called Hell of the Week, and it's hosted by Charlemagne the God. Just listen here. Wait, what I like. Let's talk about it. What do you think scares white people in Georgia about Stacey Abrams, other than the fact that, you know, she might be hard to control? She's scary. She's scary. She's everything that represents progress and a change. When you look at the, the most educated segment of our society, it is black women. Mm -hmm. the, the most, uh, that's not for applause. They, they, they that's seem, a statistical fact. They, they, they seem to have this grip on both what has happened and what can happen. When you took, she made Georgia blue. That's right. So that's a very powerful thing, and she's a powerful woman that you can't tell what to do. You can't intimidate her, you can't frighten her. I'd rather pick people that I know, at least I can have some semblance of control. And that's what I'm talking about. People are afraid that they won't know as much. They are afraid that they are less than, and many times they are. If there's a black woman that's in any leadership position, yeah, she knows more than me. She knows more than you. She got that position because she knows more. Whatever the position is, she knows more than you. She knows more than me. And I'm okay with that. And you should be too. You should be too. You should understand that that black woman got that job because she earned it. You should be okay with it. that black woman got that job because she's the best person for the job. When you use an excuse like affirmative action or that she got it because of the way she looks, you're just using excuses to make you feel better when you may not be up to snuff. Sunday Night Football is hosted by a black woman. Her name is, I think her name is Maria Taylor. She was answering a TikTok. I'm gonna paraphrase. They were essentially saying that she got her job because she was black. But what I wanna say is when I see a black woman in a position of leadership, up front tells me everything that I need to know. She earned a job, 100%. She knows her stuff because she has to. She has to know her stuff, so she does. So what I suggest is that all of you guys that are crying because black women are standing up for themselves and they're putting themselves first, they have had to stand behind black men, white women, white men for such a long time. When they are the best people usually for the job. Period. All right guys, have a good day. Peace out.